Good morning from the heart, April 7th, thorny ground hearers. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up and choked them, Matthew 13, verse 7. In the thorns that choked the good seed, the great teacher would depict the dangers that are around those who hear the word of God. For there are foes on every hand to make of no effect the precious truth of God. All that draws the affections from God, all that fills the attention so that Christ has no room in the heart, must be renounced if the seed of truth is to flourish in the soul. Jesus specifies the things that are dangerous to the soul. He says the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches and the desire for other things choke the word. The growing spiritual seed so that the soul does not draw nourishment from Christ as does the branch from the vine and the spiritual life dies from the heart. Love of the world, love of its pleasures and display and love of other things keep the soul away from God. For those who love the world do not depend on God for their courage, their hope, their joy. They know not what it is to have the joy of Christ, for this is the joy of leading others to the fountain of life, of winning souls from sin to righteousness. When those who have but a partial knowledge of the truth are called upon to study some point that cuts across their preconceived opinions, they are confused. Their preconceived opinions are as thorns that choke the word of God. And when truth is sown and it becomes necessary to root up the thorns to give it place, they feel that everything is going from them and they are in trouble. There are many who have but an imperfect understanding of the character of God. They think of him as stern and arbitrary. And when the fact is presented that God is love, it is a difficult matter for these souls to lay aside their false conceptions of God. But if they do not let the word of truth in rooting out the thorns, the briars will start up afresh and choke out the good word of God. Their religious experience will be dwarfed for the evil of their hearts will overtop the tender plant of truth and shut away the spiritual atmosphere. The law of God is the rule of God's government and through eternal ages it will be the standard of his kingdom if we do not yield to its requirements in this life learning to love god with all our hearts and our neighbors as ourselves we shall meet with no change in character at the appearing of jesus hope you have a great day today live from the heart